Before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.5% of all my viewers aren't subscribed. If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and make videos in hopes that you learn something new. So consider subscribing. It's free. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to remove brittle vinyl tint from your headlights. Now, first of all, I bought this car with the headlight tint already applied from the previous owner, and I'm guessing that this car was kept outside considering some of the carbon fiber accessory parts on the car were already fading. The headlight suffered the same fate and the tint itself looked faded. So of course, I decided it had to come off, but the tint was being troublesome. I tried a heat gun to warm up the vinyl in hopes that it would make it easier to peel, but the vinyl itself was so brittle from the exposure of the sun that it would not come off at all. Bits and pieces here and there would fall off with me trying to scratch it with my fingernail and the heat gun, but that method would have taken me ages to get everything off. The vinyl tint was basically plastic at that point and would break and chip no matter what. The vinyl had lost its elastic properties from being baked by the sun. So what you need to do is give it moisture to help bring back the stretchiness of the vinyl. First, I tried using WD-40 as that's what people said online, but that just made the tint more shiny and slippery. The vinyl itself was still brittle, so that did not work. Fortunately, my mom had just bought a clothes steamer because she was getting tired of ironing. It was still in a box just sitting there, so I gave it a try. This steamer was only like 20 bucks. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below but let me tell you, it worked like magic. As long as the vinyl is exposed to the steam, it stretches and bends when peeling instead of falling apart and chipping. The key is having a big enough edge to peel it off in one large chunk. In order to get the edge of the vinyl tint started, I use an X-Acto knife to get under the tint and break the seam of the glue holding it onto the headlight. Now you might be scared to use a blade on your headlights, but as long as you don't make slashing or straight down cuts, you won't scratch the lens of the headlight. You are just using the corner of the blade to get underneath the vinyl to help lift it up. If you're still worried, perhaps you can use something like a squeegee or something with a thin, fine edge to lift up the vinyl instead of using a blade. And like I said, once you get a big enough chunk lifted, as long as you're constantly applying steam to the vinyl, it peels off in one huge piece. Just be careful not to burn yourself with the steamer because it can get pretty hot if your hands are exposed to it after a few seconds. Your fingers are also going to get all wrinkled because of all the moisture, and my mom says that if you do it long enough, you might turn into a fish. Or at least that's what she used to tell me as a kid when I wanted to stay in the bathtub for too long. But anyway, after you get all the tint off, you're probably still going to have glue residue on the headlight. Now you can go over it with the steamer again to try and weaken the glue so it rubs off with a cloth, or you can hit it with a polisher. I have this handheld polisher that I got from Harbor Freight and it took out all the residue fairly easily. Here you can see how it looks after and it looks pretty darn good in my opinion. The headlights look brand new and I can see better at night. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more car videos. I guess that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.